Hey there, Flutter enthusiasts. Ever wondered about the magic behind those smooth Flutter apps? Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into Dart, the beating heart of Flutter. From data types to a sync magic, get ready for a whirlwind tour. And trust me, by the end of this, you'll be darting through your Flutter projects. In this video, we will cover introduction to data types, numbers, num, integer, and double, strings and their significance, Booleans, the on, off switch of Dart. Lists, Dart's containers. Sets, the unique toy club. Maps, the treasure chests of Dart. Other types, type inference, public, private variables. Null safety and late variables. Let's start. Welcome to the Dart toy store. Here, every data type is like a unique toy with its own special features. Let's explore each one. Open Dart pad. A Dart Playground. Visit https colon slash slash dartpad.dev slash. Link is in description. Numbers. Remember counting your candies. Dart has special types for numbers. In Dart, numbers have a family called num, but let's meet the siblings, int and double. Int is for whole numbers. And double is for numbers with decimals. So, whether you're counting candies or measuring chocolate, Dart has got you. An int is like counting whole candies, no half candies here. And double, well, it's when you have parts of something, like half a chocolate bar. For whole numbers, Dart uses int, the syntax, int, space, the name of your variable, followed by an equals sign, and then the number, like this. For decimal numbers, it's double, the syntax, double, space, the name of your variable, equals sign, and the number with decimals. So, with int and double, numbers have their special place in Dart. Strings. Strings. Think of them as the names of your toys or the stories you tell. Strings in the world of Dart are sequences of characters. It's how Dart reads and uses text. With strings in Dart, you can store words, names, or even entire stories. Just like giving your teddy bear a name, string lets you store and use text in Dart. The syntax for this, string, space, name of your variable, equals sign, and your text enclosed in quotes, like this. Booleans. They are like a light switch, only two states, on or off. In Dart, it's true or false. So, if you ever want to check if something is right or wrong, true or false, booleans are your go-to. The syntax, bool, space, name of your variable, equals sign, and then either true or false, like this. With booleans, checking something is as simple as flipping a switch. Lists. Imagine a toy box where you can see the order of your toys. Now, imagine a toy shelf. You place one toy after another in a specific order. That's a list. For the syntax, list, angle brackets with the data type of items. It can string, int, double, etc. Space, name of your list, equals sign, and the items in square brackets. Each item in the list has a specific position. So, if you ask Dart for the first toy on the toy shelf, it'll give you a car. Onto a special club, the set. Here, every toy is unique. No two toys can be the same. Sets are unique collections. Syntax. Set. Angle brackets with the data type of items. Name of your set. Equals sign. And the items inside curly braces. Even if you try to sneak in two car toys, Dart ensures only one stays in the club. Imagine a toy chest where each toy has a label and a matching key. That's a map. Maps hold pairs. For the syntax, map, angle brackets with key and value types, name of your map, equals sign, and then key value pairs inside curly braces. If you use the golden key, Dart will reveal the mystery toy. It's all about pairs, a key and its corresponding toy. Dart has a few more shelves in its toy store, each with its own magic. Let's take a peek. 
Sometimes, Dart plays a guessing game called type inference. You use var, and Dart figures out the type. Here, even if you just used var, Dart knows surprise a toy is a string because of the text you stored in it. In Dart, you can have public toys and secret toys. By adding an underscore before the name, you're telling Dart it's a secret. Underscore secret toy is private. It's like a diary you don't want anyone to read. Ever worried about opening a toy box and finding it empty? Dart ensures that never happens with null safety. And if you're unsure about which toy to play with right now but decide later, late is your keyword. With Dart, you're always in safe hands, or should I say, safe toy gloves. And that's our tour of Dart's toy store. Remember, understanding each toys or data types manual makes playtime or coding even richer. So keep experimenting and keep playing. Before you go, if you found this journey through Dart's toy store enlightening, do us a favor, give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on more coding adventures, hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber gets a virtual toy from Dart's store. Well, not really, but you get the idea.